that job. Of all the researchers we have in the new energy scene, there are very few that have had as much publicity as John Hutchison with all the television shows and radio <laughs> interviews he's done. John, will you come up and, and uh, tell us a bit about the crystal converter? I certainly do. Oh, here I stand. Oh, I feel like a president talking here. <laughs> anyway, yes, um, Jeannie, I mentioned to Jean that um, we we're going to work on the crystal power cell converter, crystal converter as it's known. My uh, friend in uh, Toronto, George Hathaway, said it would take um, $200,000 and about two years to develop it. And we're going to try and develop it with Charles Bombardier, who's sponsoring a TV show I'm doing, called The Experimental Factory, that um, was still lagging on and on and on. It's been going on for three years since they're doing the race to space. So this would be a prime, whoops. I used to, one of these things that's moving around here. <laughs> Must be the levitation. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, moving right along here, um, I felt that the power cell that utilizes this zero point energy, it seems to conform with also Dr. Franklin Mead's patent, a zero point energy collector using variable titanate, which IBM now has bought up all the patent rights to it, meaning that there's a product coming out in some form. But anyway, Getting into the crystal converter using common minerals, common rocks and things like that can be produced on a very fast rate, factory compatible, manufactured at high speed and actually molded and ruggedized in any form you want. So it's got a lot of potential I feel as George Hathaway feels, Charles Bombardier feels it also. So all we need to do, I thought it would be in Belcourt by now, but I really am proud of Gene Manning to put together this book with a lot of interesting people in it that are doing incredible things and I'd like to congratulate you all and keep up the great work and I'll <laughs> let her go! I just want to thank you all for coming and I want to thank our volunteers, um, starting with our MC, um, Val McIntyre, who's from my writing group, um, which is three McIntyres and one Manning. <laughs> and Carol up there. And um, especially, uh, I want to thank the New Energy Movement Canada. My dear friends in the New Energy Movement Canada have just rallied and, and made this happen with the leadership of Raziel Young, our organizer, um, Sandra Tate has organized the book table, and the members um, of the New Energy Movement Canada have just really touched me with their generous help tonight. Thank you. This is great. This should happen in every city on this planet, and it's going to. So join us in this tidal wave of wisdom we're trying to create. Uh, and, and Val, I'd like you to, to come on up, uh, let people know what's, uh, what's for the rest of the evening. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if we didn't know it before, we know it now. We can help to bring in viable energy alternatives. I want to tell you that Dennis Bushnell, PhD, who's a chief scientist at NASA's Langley Research Center, says that new decentralized advanced technologies are quite capable of saving us from energy-related devastation if society seriously supports the new systems fast enough. He says the entrenched industries and entrenched politics of industrial age energy systems will only respond quickly enough to a major public movement and outcry. So it's up to you and me. There are other new energy books aimed at technical experts, but the non-techies need to understand this topic too. So all you scientists and inventors and engineers and 
researchers in the audience tonight. Uh, Breakthrough Power is the book to buy for the significant others in your life so that they'll understand and support what you're all about. Do your Christmas shopping here tonight. <laughs> we all need to be able to judge whether new technologies are harmful and chosen because, they'll, because they're motivated by making easy profits or whether they're actually in harmony with nature and serving the best interests of humanity and the planet. And let's give copies of this book to our friends, to our MLAs, to our MPs, our Prime Minister. Let's give copies of this book to environmentalists, to Council of Canadian members, to teachers, to academics, and all public figures who are speaking out about climate change. Folks, this book needs to reach the mass consciousness, right? This is it. Free power for all Move energy, move 